Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. So today I am covering all of the leaks and news we got in this week and in this video we're going to be taking a look at all of the leaks that have to do with Nanana -na -na Surprise. So let's get into it. First, we have a leaked image of our first look at the new teens series 2. Here we have Amelia out back in the front center. She is the new bear character. Not only is it really exciting because she looks really cute but also because she is our first ever dark-skinned Nanana -na -na Surprise Teens doll uh, in general. Nanana -na 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 Surprise doll in general because um, as you probably know, Nanana -na -na Surprise has um, dolls that are made out of a very different fabric than normal dolls, right? They're not plastic. Um, and so uh, apparently it was very hard to execute um, a dark-skinned doll in uh, this type of doll fabric that they've been doing for Nanana -na -na dolls but here she is after a long wait if we finally got a, an actual dark-skinned doll um in this case it's a girl and hopefully we'll get also boys and even more dark skin tones but for now here we have amelia and she is our first ever dark skinned girl um in nanana surprise form and that's really exciting and she looks uh, gorgeous i mean yes it, i love it how it just work with her outfit and her hair just it's such a perfect complexion um so i'm really excited that we finally got it right and that they finally did it and we're here <laughs> now let's take a closer look at amelia herself so she has she's the bear character um and she has like a a gray whitish kind of hat on with those fluffy ears i don't know why they are gray i mean i would think that with her hair color and everything her her hat would be maybe like more of a brown or something um but it's still a cute hat nonetheless and she has a very nice eye color it's almost like a like a turquoise kind of grayish kind of blue light blue um i love that um her makeup her makeup seems to be very light her hair are consistent of thick long dark brown curls and i love that it looks awesome and then her outfit is like an undershirt really preppy looking um and then she has a little tie or a little um neck um scarf thingy and then she has like an overall over it like an overall dress over it that's like kind of like a brownish kind of tone with pockets on the side a um, little bit of uh, stitching on the front and then my most favorite thing about her is that she has like over knee boots i always love over knee boots on dolls regardless that's why i just love it when she when someone when like a new doll has over knee boots because i feel like they look so good on everyone and so like she looks really cute with them boots like those boots look like little pieces of wood and they're like you know it's just like so cute um and i actually think that she kind of has an aesthetic of like a park ranger you know like a park ranger like from yogi bear or like just like a park ranger with those uniforms you know with those hats and i feel like that's that's the vibe she's giving me and that would also kind of make sense because park rangers are kind of like always looking out for wildlife making sure that the park is uh safe right and um kind of like yeah like in yogi bear it's always like they get in trouble yogi bear is like a bear right and then so it just kind of reminds me of that like it would make sense because she's a bear and she's like ugh, so, such an it's such like it makes sense it just makes sense um and i love that i think she is really cute and i cannot wait to see the rest of this series you might have also noticed that behind amelia there's two other characters standing behind her and uh on the left we have alaska frost she is the wolf character and we actually already have a full-on look of her from the nanana surprise official instagram page where she is animated so we already got a full-on look of her and she looks so cute i mean look at her she is adorable the jacket the the dress the, the her makeup her makeup is her makeup is so cute so expressive so bold her hair color um and her hat just adorable so she's the wolf character and i love her here we have the second character standing to her right and this is actually the boy character in this series hopefully um no i just saw that no it's probably this is probably the only bear a uh, bear do, boy character that we have in this series once again but i do hope that in future series uh, we will get even more boys like not just one boy per series but maybe even two boys or even more but he seems to be the um dragon boy character as descriptive here um i don't see much dragon 
action going on here like he's just dressed in black for the most part so it is going to be interesting to see his full-on look to see how they um how they executed the whole drag 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 dragon um theme animal theme with him because um unless the the dragon uh, boy um theme is not correct maybe it's a totally different theme um it, it it seems that his theme is a dragon so like unless it's wrong what is he doing here why does he look like an emo boy like just in black like okay <laughs> um because amelia and alaska they both have their corresponding themes right so it would be weird if he just had it wrong and he's not a, he and he's rep and he's representing another animal so yeah but hey, you know, maybe the dragon he is is kind of like a, a, a dressed in black kind of dude. I don't know. But all in all, I mean, he looks really cute. I, I love the hat. I do hope that the hairstyle he has underneath is something new that we haven't seen before. Um, it's something cool. And I do hope the, I mean, the fashions look great on him as well. Um, the pants, everything. It's just, it's a lot of black. So like we can't even really see what he's wearing. But I do hope that his uh, executed final look when we get to see it, that it's really, um, that it makes sense when we see it. <laughs> Next up, we have a new series of Nana no, 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 Surprise Teens, which is probably like a slumber party series. Um, the packaging here looks like it's probably like a transparent type of plastic where you see everything, and that looks cool. Um, but the character here, we're not sure um, what character this is. Is it a new character? Or a lot of people have speculated if that is Paula Perfect, the um, little no, 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 surprise uh, character that we see, we can see here in the packaging on um, the bottom right. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't This is giving me kind of like a fake vibe because the packaging is something we've never seen before. No, no, no surprise is all about surprise. So I, I don't no, usually their packaging is covered um, unless it is about, unless you're buying like a playset. set. Um, and I guess if this, if this is a, con if this is considered a playset, set, maybe the packaging would make sense, but it still doesn't make sense why they would put, they would put Paula Perfect, um, a character which doesn't seem to be the doll character, the doll's character that we see in the packaging. It wouldn't make sense to have a, a um, the a, the artwork of a po of, of of a character that isn't even the doll you're getting. You you know, like a lot of people said that maybe pa Paula Perfect um, is grown up here. Maybe she's a teen now. But I <laughs> I don't think um, that they would put, uh, even if that's true, I don't think they would just put an older version of her artwork on the packaging where it's a teen's doll you're getting, not a, not a small doll. Um, and the artwork we can see here is from the small doll from Paula Perfect. So it would make more sense if it is Paula Perfect that they make a new artwork for her as a teen now, you know? So that's what confuses me. The packaging looks kind of weird. Um, even if it is a playset, it, it's still something we've never seen structured quite like this. Um, and then the artwork just kind of throws me off. Like, why would they put her, even if that is her, why would they put a, just a recycled artwork on a packaging like this where you're displaying your doll, a different type of doll? Um, but yeah, in any case, it doesn't even look like um, she has blonde hair. Like, she has pink hair here. And she's wearing, like, little PJs, you know? Like, I don't know. It's a lot going on. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, there's not even, like, a series name or anything. So, like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe it's fake. I'm not sure. It's probably not. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. But just uh, let me know what you think. Because I'm, like, kind of thrown off. I don't know what to think. No, I mean, it looks like it, it has the same kind of writing over it like the other leaks do. So if this is fake, then it means the other ones could be fake as well. So I don't think that this would be fake and the other leaks are not fake. So... I don't know, me, this is probably real, but maybe it's just a prototype because I cannot imagine they, them selling it like this. It just looks so kind of um, not ready. You know, it just kind of looks very empty, like the packaging, you know? It looks like there's just like one character design artwork artwork in the bottom left, bottom right, and then there's like the title in the front and that's it. Like that just seems so minimalistic. And 
maybe that's what they're going for but usually not a lot of surprise they have like a lot going on with their packaging so like i'm just kind of like wondering um yeah and in any case again like if that is paula perfect why is her hair pink why is her artwork still the same as the artwork we've seen before of her as a child you know like it doesn't make sense they're two different series they should have distinguished them by making different artworks for each series um this doesn't make sense if plus the artwork doesn't showcase her outfit it, it showcases the outfit she wore in the core series uh series four or series three so it doesn't make sense so i'm just kind of like one i'm, I'm, I'm confused um but i'm gonna stop talking about this now because it's just uh, it's just a leak so like let's i don't even know what's gonna happen this next <laughs> leak is for sure my favorite one probably it's just the new minivan a camper looking vehicle that has an interior that you can plop open and then you get access to the interior but you also have a new um little bed area where your dolls can sleep in um this vehicle looks so cute i i love that there's a lot to do here it comes with accessories and you can even fold out like that hanging hanging mat on the right side um how do you how do you call that not a hanging mat but like wh what is that what is that <laughs> what do you call it um no i forgot i don't know i don't know the name but you know what it is you know what it is it it, it it's where you go chilling you plop your yourself in there uh, yeah hanging mat i feel like it's called a hanging mat right or something like a oh god <laughs> but it, all in all i mean i just it's such a cool looking vehicle i it actually looks like a playset. Like I love when campers, or like a Barbie, has done it a lot of times, um, where it's like a camper and it folds up to create like a whole playset. You know, uh, I always love when uh, brands do that. It's just a little bit of compact details and stuff. I love that. And something completely uh, doesn't have to do with none of that surprise. But I recently saw on the Dolly News on Instagram that Spin Master apparently is going to release a new Harry Potter doll line, and here we can. See See the first look at what they would look like with Hermione Granger here um, and I just love how these dolls look like they're cheapy proportions and cutesiness um, I mean Mattel does like good or right dolls because they look realistic but I think that going for like more of a cutesy spin also kind of helps because um, who doesn't like cute stuff plus their eyes like I don't know if the eyes here are inset like rainbow high eyes but they look Look really good like really i i thought they were in sets so i'm not even sure what if they are or not <laughs> but yeah this is the first look we have it's gonna come this fall apparently um yeah what do you think but yeah that was the video i hope you'll enjoyed be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did be sure to leave any thoughts or questions you may have down below let me know what you think of these new leaks of nanana surprise do you like the new characters we've seen so far for series two um do you like the slumber party uh looking series that's gonna come out soon maybe as well and what do you think of the camper and the new harry potter dolls from spin master let me know down below and as always don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any upcoming na 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 surprise doll news stay safe be kind i hope to see you next time stay peachy kisses